Hello everyone and welcome to this video on insertion sort by IntelliPath. Insertion sort is a simple and an effective sorting algorithm that works on repeatedly sorting elements in a sorted subarray. It is in place comparison based algorithm making it useful for sorting small to medium sized data set. Insertion sort is particularly effective when input data is already partially sorted or nearly sorted. It is stable meaning that relative order of equal elements is preserved after sorting. While insertion sort may not be the fastest sorting algorithm, it is easy to understand and implement. In this video, we will explore the step-by-step -step process of insertion sort and demonstrate its working using a visual example in pseudocode. Let's get to the agenda. First, we will get into the introduction of sorting. The next, we will see to understand the insertion sort. Moving on, we will learn through the example. Further, we will learn to calculate the time complexity and next we will see its space complexity. Before we get into our first topic, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let us start with introduction to sorting. Sorting algorithms play a crucial role in computer science allowing us to organize data in a meaningful way. One such algorithm is insertion sort. Known for its simplicity and efficiency when dealing with small or nearly sorted arrays. In this video, we will explore the inner workings of insertion sort, its step-by-step -step process, analyze its time complexity, and discuss its executable code. Sorting algorithms are a fundamental part of computer science, enabling us to arrange data in a meaningful way. Today, we'll delve into one such algorithm, insertion sort. Join us as we explore the inner workings of this simple yet efficient sorting method. Now let's move on to our next agenda, which is understanding insertion sort. Insertion sort is a simple sorting algorithm that works similar to the way you sort playing cards in your hands. The array is virtually split into a sorted and an unsorted part. Insertion sort follows the concept of building a final sorted array one element at a time. It starts with the second element and compares it with the previous elements, shifting those elements one position ahead until the correct position of the current element is found. This position is repeated for each subsequent element until the entire array is sorted. Sorting algorithms are a fundamental part of computer science, enabling us to arrange data in a meaningful way. Insertion sort operates on the principle of building a sorted array one element at a time. Let's take a closer look at how it works using a simple example array. To demonstrate how insertion sort works, let's consider an array with the elements 5, 2, 4, 6, 1 and 3. Starting with the second element 2, we compare it with the previous element 5. Since 2 is smaller, we shift 5 one position ahead. Continuing along, we compare 2 with the previous element 5. As there are no more preceding elements, we insert 2 at the first position. Moving on to the next element, 4, we compare it with the previous element 5. Since 4 is smaller, we shift 5 one position ahead. Comparing 4 with the previous element 2, we insert 4 at the second position. Advancing to the next element 6, we compare it with the previous element 5. As 6 is greater, we leave the elements unchanged. Progressing to the next element 1, we compare it with the previous element 6. Since 1 is smaller, we shift 6 one position ahead. Next, we compare 1 with the previous element 5 and shift 5 one position ahead. Further comparing 1 with the previous element 4, we insert 1 at the first position. Moving to the next element 3, we compare it with the previous element 6. Since 3 is smaller, we shift 6 one position ahead. Lastly comparing 3 with the previous element 4, we insert 3 at the third position. And just like that, insertion sort successfully organizes the array in ascending order. Its step-by-step -step process of comparing and inserting elements ensures a sorted result. Now let us move to our next agenda, which is time complexity. In this, we will examine the algorithmic steps of insertion sort with its cost and number of repetitions respectively. 
The first step costs C1 and repeats for n times. The second step costs C2 and repeats for n minus 1 number of times. The third step costs C3 and repeats for n minus 1 number of times. The fourth step costs C4 and is for the number of times the while loop repeats itself. The fifth step costs C5 and is for the number of repetitions when a of i plus 1 is assigned the value of a of i. The sixth step costs C6 for the number of times the i is decremented by 1. The seventh step costs C7 and is for the number of times the a of i plus 1 is assigned the value of key that is n minus 1 number of times. Now let us calculate the total time cost for the algorithm to run for which we will add the total cost for each step. The total cost for step 1, the total cost for step 2, the total cost for step 3, the total cost for step 4, the total cost for step 5, the total cost for step 6, the total cost for step 7. And now we'll add all the costs together. The time complexity of insertion sort is big O of n square. In the worst case scenario and on average, this means that as the number of elements n in the list increases, the time it takes to sort the list grows quadratically. The worst case scenario for insertion sort occurs when the input list is in reverse order. In this case, for each element, we need to complete it with all the previous sorted elements to find its correct position, resulting in nested loops. The number of comparisons and swaps required is approximately n square by 2. However, in the best case scenario, when the input list is already sorted, insertion sort performs optimally with a time complexity of big O of n. This is because there are no or minimal comparisons and swaps required since each element is already in its correct position. Let's move to our next agenda that is space complexity. Regarding space complexity, insertion sort has a space complexity of big O of 1 since it operates directly on the input list without requiring additional memory allocation for auxiliary data structures. The sorting is done in place, meaning it does not require significant additional memory proportional to the input size. It is worth noting that while insertion sort is not the most efficient sorting algorithm for large data sets, it performs well on small or nearly sorted lists and has a relatively low overhead in terms of memory usage. Now let's discuss and examine the executable code. First of all, we will initialize and declare the array with its elements in the main method, which is depicted in line 41 and declare and initialize n with the size of the array as in line 42. Now let's create a function called insertion sort with a return type void and pass two arguments as integer r which will accept the input array and integer n. The integer n will accept the number of elements in the array. Inside the function we'll declare three integer type variables namely i, k and j. Now initializing k with r of i and j with i of 1. Next we will run a while loop for j greater than equal to 0 and j greater than key. Inside this loop we will assign r of j plus 1 the value of r of j and decrement j by 1 every time the loop runs. Line 24 will run after the while loop runs completely. The while loop here shifts the elements greater than key to the one position ahead their current position. Now let's create another function with a void return type named print array. This function declares an integer variable i and runs a loop via it to print the elements of the stored array. 
At last, we have to call the two methods in the main function with the required arguments for the program to print the sorted array. Now let us move to the conclusion. Insertion sort is a simple in-place sorting algorithm. It works by iteratively inserting each element into its proper position within a sorted subarray. It has a time complexity of big O of n square in the worst case. Insertion sort performs well on small or nearly sorted arrays. However, it may be less efficient than other sorting algorithms for large inputs. Insertion sort simplicity and efficiency make it ideal for small or nearly sorted arrays. However, its performance may deteriorate for larger data sets. Understanding the strengths and limitations of insertion sort allows us to choose the right algorithm for different scenarios. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the inner workings of insertion sort. Stay tuned for more exciting topics in the world of computer science. Until next time. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPath offers full stack web developer course in collaboration with ENICT Academy IIT Guwahati. Through this course, you can learn everything from front end web development to back end web development from esteemed IIT Guwahati faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel, whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of web development.